We've just finished at the hospital. We had Hector's um, second appointment with the allergic specialist this morning. And uh, while we were here, I uh, took the opportunity to go to the area where you can ask for a second opinion. So I've now collected the paperwork needed for me to send in a request to see a different neurologist in the hospital of Elche instead of the hospital here in Tarvieja where we are currently. And um, I need to complement with a few things like the copy of my passport and things like that. Um, but things are moving along and hopefully we can get some more help or at least uh, some more knowledge pretty soon but that's what I've done today and it was a big step for me to go and ask for those documents it's a big step for me to ask for a second opinion but after my uh, hospitalization this summer one doctor actually recommended me to do that so we shall see what comes of this but something is something Hi guys, it's the next day, I think, or two days uh, after my last clip. I've now arrived to my mom's house and I uh, wanted to do kind of like a day in my life um, vlog. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Um, if you don't think of the ones that I filmed when I was hospitalized this summer. So I wanted to break up the depressive content a little bit with just some normal everyday kind of situations. Um, so my mom lives in this beautiful white stone house here in Spain and uh, she has a decent sized garden where the kids can run around and play. And we have one of those like uh, temporary pools like uh, that you can um, put together yourself and then take it away when the season is over. Um, so I'm gonna now um, approve I'm gonna seize the moment and uh, my grandma called and I had to take it. Um, I haven't spoken to her for a long time and she wanted to hear how I was doing. But now I'm gonna quickly try and change for my bathing suit and I'm still using my cane. Um, and I'm gonna head out to the pool and try and cool off and then we're gonna have some lunch. Um, but uh, yeah, thought I would bring you guys along on a little day in my life. <laughs> Natalie and I had a nice cold swim. <laughs> Did you feel cold? A lot. A lot? No, 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 a lot. A lot, 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 a lot. It's only 28, 29 degrees in the water, so I was very calm. <laughs> no, but we have really high temperatures currently. Um, yesterday we actually got some thunderstorms and rain, so the temperature has dropped a tiny little bit. This morning the air was nice and fresh, still not cold, but like not as humid and hot as it was um, so now we have 30 something degrees i think we have about 32 oh, degrees celsius was it nice okay i have to try to stand in the water oh yeah it's nice <laughs> but we're gonna have some lunch now and uh, just enjoy our day at my mom's house Now when I'm walking around here, my mom had one of these supportive bands that she used when she had problems with her knees. Um, so she'll have me try them out to see if it's something that I would like to have because my legs tend to overextend when I'm walking. So this one will go uh, the wrong way and this one will turn outwards when I'm walking. So I'm just testing it out to see if I could perhaps want to have something like this. Uh. I normally don't like to film myself when I'm in bed or like resting like this. Um, 
but I thought I would share um, in the moment too. So this morning we spent about two and a half to three hours in the hospital to only try and leave some paperwork for me to be able to ask for a second opinion from another neurologist in a different hospital. And it was quite an ordeal. <laughs> and we had to wait for two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, in the end, the paperwork that I had filled out was not correct. We had to do it again with a different paperwork. And it turns out that I'm not eligible or whatever you say to go to Elche, which is the nearest hospital apart from the one I am at currently. I would have to travel about two hours to go to one in Valencia to be able to get my second opinion. So now I'm just feeling quite overwhelmed about everything and I have to wait for them to do so many things before even getting a chance to hopefully go see them. They're gonna send me a letter saying giving me like their second opinion based off of the information they can get through my hospital. They're gonna ask for my like uh, medical history with neurologist. And they're gonna review that and then give me a second opinion or they're gonna call me to go to physically see them and talk to them and they will evaluate me and that way give me a second opinion to see if they think that my treatment options are correct or if I should do something else or all of those things. Um, so the process is quite long and it's stressing me out when you feel like you are very limited of time because I feel like the progression this summer was so fast. I don't really want to wait much longer. And it's you know a matter of logistics more than any other thing. But when I'm so dependent on everyone else, if nobody can drive me there, I can't get there. And it's just so many things that stressing me out. And her hypothetically after I've had an um, appointment with them in Valencia then it's up to me to make a decision if I want to continue my MS like things with them in that hospital and have to travel every time I go or if I want to stay in the hospital where I'm now obviously it's more convenient to be here but there, if there is not enough support here then I don't know what to do so I'm a little bit confused of what I should do and not to do but we took a step today and try and figure that out so that was good but now I'm exhausted <laughs> and all my symptoms flared while I was there because I was getting stressed and I could feel everything just coming over me I couldn't hear like symptoms that I've had that's improved or whatever like every time I get stressed or overwhelmed or all together all my symptoms flare and I lose my hearing on my left ear I lose my vision on my left eye I get my tremors come out I get unstable my legs won't work uh, I can't think, I can't do what they're asking me to do. Like I had to ask her how to spell a word when I was filling in the form because I can't think. And my hands shake and it's just very humbling. <laughs> All of those situ like when you are in a situation where the world can see just how fragile you are or like how many issues you have in that moment is just not so fun. And I told her, like, she was like, I don't even know if you have the right to ask for a second opinion. Depends on what illness you have. And she had to go through her, her lists of things. And then when she realized that I was crossing off everything on her list, she was like, not questioning me anymore. And I think that she was really good. Like, I liked her. The one I saw today, she explained everything very nicely and she took her time and she didn't stress me or anything, so I uh, I'm very appreciative of her. It's just overwhelming everything else. 
And as my dad said, it's not a small thing that you did today. You're taking, trying to take control over your life, over your future, of your health. So, of course, it's a big deal. And oh, he's right. He's right, but it's just... You just want to be normal and you just want to be able to go and do your things. And then you realize that you've had a good day or two and then it just hits you all over again. <laughs>